Now I am risking these Makita drills. They could break at any point. Somehow, strangely, I think it's worth it. Exciting update, it just started to snow and it's starting to build up on the window. So I'll show you a picture of that and I can't believe it, it's actually snowing here. So I'm gonna finish off the modifications I'm doing now on the bobsleigh. Might have to cut it short and just run with one drill, but I'll see how much I can get done tonight. Here we go. So I wanted to demonstrate the power of having two drills on the back of this bobsleigh, so I hooked them up by, side by side and they were driven and I welded on a sprocket to the end of the drill that was held in the chuck. That drives the chain which then drives a large cog which is spaced off and mounted to the large wheels for maximum traction. When I made those skis, my steam bent them just to form them, to give them a bit like a snowboarding ski, the way it's slightly curved, and then on the, on the front, on the nose of it, so that, that lifts up so that the, the snow doesn't get caught. What I found, that doesn't work at all. They're not big enough. I really should have had just one big ski at the front that could tilt left and right. The problem with this flat bottom bobsleigh is that it's really hard to, to steer. So it, when, when you're turning, Nothing, nothing much happens, but that makes it a bit more exciting. Interesting thing is now with the steel brakes and the ride height adjustment, I can adjust the wheels so high that when I pull the brakes, they don't actually touch the floor. So that is one thing to take note of. Now, at this point, I should say, I didn't know if I was gonna get it, get it to work with one drill, let alone two, and I didn't know if it was gonna snow. So that managed to happen. So a lot of, a lot of things fell into place on the day. So. This is the bobsleigh that I built and I'm going to show you how it works. At the front, I've got two skis that steer and they've got a slight angle. We found that that just doesn't work at all. <laughs> right now we've got um, two wheels on it just to test it for, for its top speed on the grass. You can see the angle of these skis, but really they need to be much bigger than maybe just one ski like I had before. So from the inside it steers, haven't got that much steering angle so the turning circle is really large. We actually did that intentionally so that you'd have a bit more control going down the hill at high speed. This is how the steering works. I've got this joystick and it there's a bolt here and this is the throttle control which is a, a brake lever from a bike and that runs through the bobsleigh all the way to the back and powers the Makita drill. I've only got one drill driving it right now but that's tied around the trigger and that'll drive it forward this is the this is the most powerful makita drill and this is the most powerful impact driver unfortunately the impact driver just doesn't work in moving the bobsleigh it's just a different type of torque it's constantly impacting but every time it makes an impact the wheel slips back and it makes no progress so that's pretty much useless it would have been a lot better if i had two of these so i'm just running it on one but even just on one, it still goes. It doesn't really go uphill on the snow because that that's just, it's too slippery and I haven't got the right kind of traction. If I had a belt drive, it would have been so much better. And so the way it works is that the drill goes through the side on an axle, then it's got a, a sprocket freewheel that I had to weld onto a shaft and the chain going through an old bike derailleur and then onto some spacers and a big cog on this wheel the ride height is adjustable, so we can do this on the grass. And I've got 50 mil up and down with these two bolts. I just have, just have complete confidence in the drill that it's gonna handle it. It's gonna handle these extreme conditions. It's gonna be in the snow. These lithium, lithium ion battery packs, I have put like a little bit of insulation around them. But other than that, you know, they're just out there in the elements. They're, you know, gonna be freezing cold and we're gonna run them till the battery goes flat. Oh, 
much snow. Very good quality. Very pleased with it. Right, so let's get this off the roof. Let's get the wheels attached. Let's try and find a hill. Take a ride. Modifications to the box today. Got the wheels on, getting the drills on, tying them down. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done. I've done enough. I've done enough on this project. It's been, it's been great to do. I'm tired. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the project uh, in the comment section below and maybe I'll do one of those projects. It really helps the channel grow, all the comments, sharing, and if you can, please subscribe. All right, let's get out of here. On to the next project.